Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jean. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are new here and you love handbags and other luxury items as much as I do, please consider subscribing and tapping that notification bell. Uh, making these videos is a lot of work. I'm trying to grow my channel and I would really appreciate it if you could help me out. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. As Adina Monsoon would say, Today, I'm surrounded by gorgeous little things. Welcome to my 2023 year in review video. I'm gonna show you every luxury item I bought in 2023 all in one video. I'm gonna tell you what my best purchase was, what my worst purchase was, and I'm gonna have the videos I've done on all these items linked down below. So if you want more specific information, please check those out as I'm gonna get through this as quickly as possible and make a few brief comments about each item. Really quick before I start, I wanna tell you what luxury means to me because what it means to everybody is different. So to me, luxury has nothing to do with exclusivity, price, brand, logos, all of that stuff. The three things I consider something to be luxury are first and foremost, it's an indulgence, it's something I spend money on that I don't need. I don't need anything I'm gonna show you today. Money, more money than I probably should on something I don't need. Second of all, it has to have nice materials and good quality and craftsmanship. So to me, everything I'm showing you today is of really good quality, great materials and great craftsmanship. Most importantly, I feel luxury has to make you feel good. So it doesn't matter how much it costs or what the brand is, if it makes you feel good and happy to carry it, then by all means, it is luxury. So with that, let's get started. Now, I think I have everything in the correct order here. Um, so I'm gonna just kick it off and go through and here is the first luxury item I purchased in 2023. And one of my favorites, uh, when I purchased this in January of 2023, I believe, I thought it was gonna be my favorite item of the year right off the bat because I do love this bag. You've seen it before. It is simply gorgeous. I usually carry it without this and the long shoulder strap and I have an organizer that I put in here, but this bag is just gorgeous with the trunk heritage from Louis Vuitton with the hard sides and the soft, pliable, malleable, whatever you wanna say, center with the cool S-lock closure uh, to open the zipper there. I think this is one of the most fantastic bags in my collection, and it's probably my second favorite. Uh, the favorite is coming later in this video. Next up, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Kirigami set. Now I had wavered on this for a long, long time, thinking of it was worth it. To me, it's the best value for money item at Louis Vuitton because you get not one, not two, but three envelope type pouches with different color interiors which I think are beautiful, and I do use all three of them. These two I use on a daily basis, or almost daily basis. The bigger one I use predominantly when I travel, but these are great pieces, and at, I think it was like $765. I can't remember the exact price, but what a value to get three beautiful pieces and really functional and usable and you can actually buy inserts for the bigger one with chains um, that have little D-rings so you could carry it as a bag. I tried that, it didn't really work for me, so I only use these as pouches in other bags and they work wonderfully to help keep everything organized. Um, I'm sorry, that was the third item. Damn, I already got out of order, I have a list here. Um, but just before that, I purchased my Alma GM in Epi leather in this beautiful orange color. I did get this pre-loved from Mercari. 
and I paid more than I saw other Alma GMs listed for on the pre-loved market, but this is in pristine condition for a bag that's over 10 years old. I took it into the Louis Vuitton boutique down here a couple months ago and all the sales associates were just going gaga over it. And uh, my sales associate took it in the back and conditioned it. And when he came out, he said, I can't believe how, how well of care you have taken of this bag or something like that. I totally messed that up. But he's, he just said like, wow, you have taken such amazing care of this. And I said, I just got it. So I can't take credit for it. But it is absolutely one of my favorite bags and it's just beautiful and I've got to use it more than I do. So that's actually number two. Kirigami is number three. So I will try to remain on task and look at my list before I pick up an item. The next item I purchased here was from Gucci and these are the horse bit sunglasses. You can see the horse bits on the sides there, really beautiful. When I was moving to Palm Springs, I wanted a really huge pair of sunglasses and I get so many compliments on these. They are so lightweight, so comfortable, and they're just massive, which I love. So this is one of my favorite purchases of the year, certainly, and I wear these all the time. The next item is my Aspinall of London Ella bag. I love this little bag. It comes with a nice shoulder strap and a nice um, fiber lining. Uh, this is just a great little nondescript bag. I'm going to an event next weekend and I will be taking this bag because sometimes you just don't want to be flashy and um, for a cocktail party this will go really nice. Uh, with the darker clothes I'm wearing, but I absolutely love this bag. It's got a flap, magnetic closure here. I was vacillating between the navy and the smooth tan, and the navy was discounted from 550 to 350, so I snapped it up, but what a deal. And Aspinall of London is a great brand with high quality materials and craftsmanship. So you're gonna see me bending all around because I just have stuff everywhere. So the next item I purchased was my, it's called the monogram reverse monogram bag charm, I believe. I purchased this namely for my Alma because on the Alma, the Louis Vuitton monogram is right side up on both sides and I organize my bags front to back and not my Alma that I showed you, my monogram Alma, but clipping this on one of the handles lets me know instantly what the front of my bag is, but I also feel it definitely adds something to it. And I have used this on other bags as well, but you could certainly use this uh, in a variety of different ways. Uh, so that's the monogram, reverse monogram uh, bag charm. The next item is not only my favorite purchase of 2023, it is my favorite purchase ever my favorite bag ever. Some of you will know this, um, but take a second, see if you can guess, comment below about what I'm gonna say is my all time number one purchase, favorite bag ever. All right, so this is the Goyard Belvedere MM in this beautiful orange color. Um, I had picked this up in Paris when I was in Paris in the first week of August and I absolutely love this bag. This is my most common, complimented, my most complimented item in my collection. A couple of weeks ago, a friend was here and we went up to the outlets and they have like so many luxury brands up there. I mean, I think, you know, Hermes, Louis Vuitton and Dior aren't there, but I think pretty much everyone else is. And every essay and every store we went in, I mean, Celine, even Kate Spade, like everyone was commenting on how beautiful this bag is. And I get comments all the time from people who have no idea who Goyard is. Uh, you know, they'll be like, oh my God, I love your orange bag. But then people who know the brand usually say, oh my God, I love your Goyard. But I just love this bag. It is the perfect size for everyday use, has that beautiful 
yellow interior with some organization, uh, the classic uh, Goyardine canvas and the Chevron Y print. Um, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this bag. Um, I am using it this weekend. So that is my favorite bag, favorite purchase. Absolutely love this. I need more Goyard in my life. The next purchase I got was also in Paris. Um, so I escaped Paris with only the Goyard and this Longchamp. Um, but I wanted a Le Pliage. I went to the store on the Champs-Élysées and picked up this beautiful uh, dark olive green Le Pliage with the long shoulder straps. This is a great travel and work bag. Now I am back stateside. And when I got back from my trip a couple weeks later, I ran up to the outlets. So the next several things were things I got up at the luxury outlets. So my worst purchase of 2023 was purchased at Fendi up at the outlets here. And these are the Fendi Flow sandals. They are not a made for outlet item. None of these items I'm gonna show you are made for outlet items. They are all boutique items. But I wanted these sandals when I originally got my pair of Fendi sandals that I wear almost every day and they did not have these white ones. So I bought the Zuka print Fendi sandals and I absolutely love them. They are the most comfortable sandals I ever had. I was super excited to see these at the outlet at a huge discount. What I don't like about them is it is impossible to unbuckle this, slide your foot in and buckle this up. It is just too tight. So you have to just slide your foot in, pull this back, um, undo the Velcro. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it's not uncomfortable. They're not as comfortable as the other sandals, but I do not wear them very much because of the hassle of getting in and out of them. Also on that outlet trip came a few more items. My Versace, love showgirls, I'm gonna say Versace, uh, my Versace uh, sunglasses here that I picked up at the Sunglasses Hut outlet, and you can see it has the Medusa head uh, there on the side, and they're clear framed, which I really like. And I like these because they don't scream what brand they are. I mean, if you know Versace, you know, um, but they're not very loud, and they're very comfortable, and the lenses are quite dark. So... These are my Versace sunglasses. Next up are three Longchamp items I picked up at the outlet. It's This is like the Le Pliage Neo Crossbody in gray. I've done a video on it. I love this bag. It is a great nondescript bag as well and a worry-free because who cares? It was like a hundred bucks. So I take very good care of my things. I will take very good care of this but who cares if it gets damaged? Some of these other items, I'd certainly care and be extremely upset. Not this one. The next two Longchamp items I got are just medium top handle Le Pliages in orange. That's my color, that's my happy color. I love orange. Um, so I picked this up and then this one in light blue as well. And again, all of these items are made from, made boutique items, so Longchamp, is constantly updating their colors on the Le Pliage. So when these leave the boutique for new colors and designs to come in, they go to the outlets. Absolutely love these. These are pool bags for me. I love them because I can put all my pool stuff in it, swimsuit, towel, lotion, sunscreen, all of that stuff. And then when I'm done, it's all wet and I just throw it back in and it's lined with a waterproof material. So these are great for that purpose. Next up, we are more than halfway through here, is another bag charm and I got this LV, I think it's called, I have it written down right here, bear with me, the Facet, F-A-C-E-T-T-E -T -T -E bag charm. There was a key ring attached here, which I took off because I didn't like it, but I think this is a beautiful bag charm. 
and I occasionally do put this on uh, my bags. It's just beautiful and it's thick and weighty and feels very well made. All right, next up we have a handbag. So I bought myself the Odeon MM. This is a fantastic crossbody bag. It's the only bag that works crossbody on me because the attachments to the shoulder strap are at the very top. So it hangs low enough crossbody to wear crossbody, which is great. It has this nice front pocket with a magnetic closure, which is a great place to put your phone. You can see the monogram between the inside of the pocket and the outside of the pocket lines up beautifully. It is a great bag with Faketa leather reinforced on the corners and it does have a nice uh, textile interior. So I just absolutely love this bag. One of my favorite bags and certainly one of my favorite everyday crossbody bags. Next up, I went back to the outlets again, back to Longchamp, because I wanted this like a travel bag. This would be great to go in the overhead compartments on a plane because I have my Louis Vuitton duffel, the carry-all. You can see part of it right there uh, because I'm packing for a trip to San Francisco um, in a couple days. But I love that bag. I'm going to be taking it, but... If I take that and I take a other smaller bag to go under the seat, it either has to be a Louis Vuitton or something non-branded. When I flew back to pa from Paris, I had this and that, and I just don't like having so much branding and monogram. So I wanted this so that I could carry any bag under the seat in front of me. It didn't have to be a Louis Vuitton but I will be just carrying that this time with my Matisse inside and that will suffice. All right, only five more items left. So if you stayed with me, thank you so much. The next up is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. This was absolutely something I absolutely did not need. I mean, I didn't need any of this, but I really didn't need this. What I use it for right now is basically lip balms and I have a receipt in there from earlier today. Um, but this is good because I usually carry this in bags with lip balms, my AirPods and a lotion, but some of my bags aren't really big enough. They're big enough to hold this, but I can't put it in there because I, I need the room for other things. So this actually works out quite well and you can hook it onto the exterior of bags if you want. I'm glad I have it, but of, of, I mean, it's ridiculous to say of everything here, this was the biggest one that was not necessary when none of them were, but this was the biggest one that was not necessary. The next bag I bought, and this is recent, I haven't even reviewed this yet, is the Guibert Allure bag, Hermes leather, Hermes Tannery, clasped, designed by a famous jeweler. It's got a shoulder strap there, a really nice interior, and a slip pocket. I got this in the peacock blue color. I mean, this isn't really the bag for me. I'm probably actually gonna sell it. It has nothing to do with the quality craftsmanship, though. This is beautiful. And for the price, this this and another Guy Bear bag that's coming were definitely, out of all of these items, by far the best value for money. At around, in the low 400s, you are getting a high quality leather bag with beautiful glazing, beautiful hardware. It is really thick, this hardware, at such an amazing price. Um, Functionality-wise, it's good. It's just a little too, lady and dainty for me. So that's the reason I'm either gonna give it away or I'm gonna sell it. All right, next up was my Louis Vuitton Pacific Chill Cologne. This smells so good. Mmm, oh, I just love this. Um, but really beautiful packaging. It comes in this sturdy, I think it's cardboard container says Pacific Chill, Louis Vuitton. 
Just beautiful, wonderful fragrance. I'm becoming a fragrance person because of that. Two more items. Next up is another Guibert. This is the Polo Grooming Cob Bag. And this is amazing. It's around the same price as the Allure Bag. This leather is so soft and so luxurious. I carried it to a networking event this week. Smells great, got so many compliments on it. It's a suede lining, so the back of the leather. This is just a beautiful bag, detachable, non-detachable shoulder strap that's tucked inside and little top handles. These do come handy for just grabbing it quickly um, in the car or wherever, but this is just a stunningly beautiful bag. The color is very similar to the Hermes gold color. Guy Bear, great brand, check them out. The last and final item, while I say that now, it is December 2nd when I'm filming this and I think I'm done shopping for myself, but we will see if anything gets tagged on here at the end in a different outfit. But the last item I bought this year were these Fendi sunglasses and I just bought them recently. Some of you may have seen the video that premiered today on these, but I absolutely love these because they are, ooh, it's showing up really well here, tortoise shell. And you can see the Zuka print, the double Fs there, in the tortoise shell. And so when the light hits these, and it's so sunny here all the time, I wear sunglasses almost every single day here, but when, the light from the bright sun hits the lighter parts of these frames, that Zuka print just illuminates and it is so beautiful. And even more importantly, these are so comfortable. So this would probably be my second favorite purchase of the year. Certainly my favorite sunglasses, I absolutely love them. So glad I made this purchase, and I think they were $380. So I know that's a lot of money, but relative to some of this other stuff, it is not. So the sunglasses guy was telling me you shouldn't buy really cheap sunglasses, which I never do anyway, because they don't really work and protect your eyes. Uh, but that was interesting. But at any rate, there you have it. All of these beautiful things I have purchased in 2023. I will be doing my wish list for 2024 soon, and I certainly hope the number of items I purchase next year will be far less than this year. So there you have it. Happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below what you like and what you don't like. We love hearing both sides of opinions here. So tell me what you think below and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.